Well, my my just have to look. Okay, over here. You know what? Let's get rid of the ramp. There we go. You're gonna have to start it as soon as Kano unlocks, or you'll probably run out of time. True. Yeah, if I was to do this building layout, I would have to start as soon as the Kano uh, um, unlocks. Are you talking about the Mega Base or this base? And Phil, have I told you about the um, the repair the repair module line, the blue line? Have I told you about that one? The megabus? Exactly, I would have to. Have I told you about the repair line? If I haven't, let me know. I think I have. I, I I've been trying to blue blue what? Okay, no, you're good. Do you see the blue line on my screen right now? I'm just sitting here. The blue line represents the repair module. All right, boys, I'm getting off. You guys have a good night. All right, take care, buddy. <clears throat> uh, I've been telling everyone this because I've noticed a lot of base builders would do what I'm about to explain. I mean, we'll do... How do you know it's the rep module? Because the rep module represents the blue line. The green line represents the shield module, and if you look at it, they are highlighted. See how the shield module is highlighted green, and the rep module is highlighted blue? That is how you know. Okay, so let me let me share something to you guys. Please don't leave, guys. I know base building is probably boring to you guys, but just bear with me, okay? So it's, if you see a lot of the pressure is going to be on me to work fast because I'm always the last one to finish building on those. Well, no. Okay, hold on, Kval. I'm gonna help you with the accordion real quick, dude. Like, it's gonna be both of us. We're gonna be on pressure because I gotta bust my butt and quickly build. So, Phil, Kval already knows what I'm about to explain. So, if you see, okay, it's. I wish it was nighttime so you guys can see this. Can you guys see the blue line and the green line? Can you see that right now? I just. I don't want to move unless you guys can see this. You know what? Let me make it easier for you guys. There you go. You guys should be able to see that. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I know, but I'm still way slower. <laughs> You're good, buddy. Okay. When you guys are base building, I can't tell you how many times... Just poking fun at myself. Not serious again. <laughs> You're good, buddy. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people that base build. This is something I found out not even a week ago. If you are building a base and you want to know, how do I know if the repair module or the shield module, which is the green line, is actually going to be impacting this bunker? If the shield is activated, the bunker windows have shields. We all know that, correct? So how do you know that, right? Well, here's the thing that I found out. And a lot of people put the building, you would think, oh, let's put the building completely inside the green line, correct? No, the answer is not correct. The answer is, if the line disappears, like see how the blue line disappeared? That means the building is not going to be repaired when it takes damage. You need to have the line showing, like the blue line shows right now. That's how you know for sure if the module is actually affecting that building. Makes sense? So now, let's go ahead and move this a little bit. I'm having a little difficult time. I was able to fit it, but I'm too close to something else. So, now I got a dilemma. Do I want the repair module and the um, bunker to, to both be activated on this building or just one or the other? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of our blast wall. So just take take that into consideration when you're base building. You don't need to have the whole entire building inside that line. Uh, so so as long as you see the line, the module is in range. That is correct. Absolutely. If you don't believe me, we'll test this out right now. Okay. We're gonna completely have the bunker on the outside of this line. Okay. So you see the green line. Wow, that really blends in with daylight. And you don't see the green line. Okay. We are outside of the green line. That means the shield 
the wall, the shield of the bunker will not activate. I don't know if this one has the ability or not. Oh, it does. This is the little shield that I'm talking about. Okay. So if that shield is not showing up, that means we are outside the green line. Let me go ahead and get another bunker. And I've been trying to help people understand that, but the developers don't tell you these things. I, I even, when I found this out, I went immediately on a website, a planner site, to see if there's any mention of that, and there's nothing. So what I'm saying now will be on YouTube, guys. Just give you a heads up. Be on YouTube in about a couple of days. Okay, we're just waiting for this to deconstruct. I mean, waiting for it to um, build. But yeah, like, it's so not, I'm glad I figured that out. And again, I'm a visual learner. And it actually took me, it was that one day where, um, um, you know, on uh, Hassan, where that base was under attack. And I got like, what, 50 kills, 70 kills, something like that. That's how I figured out. Now, if we look at these windows, oh, that's a bad example. See how this window is not covered in the, by that green line? And I can completely shoot. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and deconstruct this. I'm going to be so pissed if I'm wrong. I'm going to be so mad. But I know I'm not wrong because I've done it before. Okay. Now, let's go ahead. So the only downside is the repair module is not going to be in range. I'm trying to make it in range unless I maybe go this way. Bring this building. Okay, there we go. It's hard to see the blue line, but do you see the blue? Prove yourself wrong for science, all right? Do you see that blue line? Right now, this building is completely repaired, being going to be repaired or is repaired by the module. And it's hard to see that blue line, but if you look at the tall weeds, you can see just shades of that blue line. Or Look on the far right of my of the stream. I see both lines. Okay, perfect. Now let's go ahead and place this as high as we want. Beautiful. And also, just to let you know that the terminal inside does not get repaired by the module. Just remember that. So you know how I always blow up those terminals? It does not get repaired. Now let's go ahead and put our blast wall down. But yeah, it's so nice. I'm glad I figured that out because I can't tell you how many times I was putting everything inside that range of the circle of the repair module when I could just literally just put it on the outside and, and that's fine. As long as you see those lines, you are totally okay to place in that building or whatever. And now I'm going to have the same issue with this one. Oh, come on. an idea let's go ahead and do this there we go now we're gonna go ahead and look at that bunker just give me a second let's go ahead and look at this bunker oh my gosh I keep looking at the wrong one and now it's got shields and I can't shoot the terminal and I can't get deemed. And that's how you know for sure if the green line and the blue line, well at least the green line, which is the shield module that provides the um, shields for the windows. If you see those lines, you are fine and are okay to place that building. You don't, again, you don't need to place the whole entire building inside the line. Oh, we are getting attacked. Let's go figure out who it is. No, don't stop shooting. Okay, anyways, like I said, you don't need to place the whole entire building inside the lines. You just need to have the lines showing on your screen and you're completely golden to place in a building. So hopefully that helps with anyone that wants to base build. You know, like look at look at how much room I saved. Could you imagine if I tried to put that whole bunker in, in here? I wouldn't be able to fit anything. I wouldn't be able to fit the gates. I wouldn't be able to fit the modules. And, you know, the walls, the turrets, if I had to place the whole entire building in the range of the repair line, the re repair module line or the shield module line. So, so again, let's test this out for something else. Let's grab another blast wall. I'm going to go ahead 
go ahead and put this right here. I can't see the blue line. Okay, now I can. If you really want to know if you're inside the blue line, you can always be an infiltrator and do that technique that I always do. But I can see the blue line where the the, but the uh, weeds are and stuff. So I know the I'm being the wall is going to get repaired by the module. And the reason why I put the bunker here, vehicles can still get through. They can just go through right here. But the bunker is going to act like a huge wall barrier for the um, shield gate. Or the gate shield, whatever you want to go with. And so this is the new strategy I like. I like it a lot. Just it's hard for inf infiltrators to get in. Even when they do get into the tower, they're not going to have any good view at shooting all the modules. They're only going to be able to shoot this module and the repair module. Maybe I might move the repair module back to where this one is. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But the, the number one thing that takes your base down is infiltrators with the crossbow um, uh, darts. And what I mean by that is I'll pull an infiltrator real quick. Let's get a Sunday. And I purposely made it so the vehicle stop like that so I don't completely go out there and get attacked by a liberator. So that's the reason why I specify I need to pull a sky guard. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and back up to Sunday in here. This is how I always do it. Oh. Come on, baby. What the heck? Let's do this. Oh my gosh, come on. All else fails, just pull forward. We're gonna do that real quick. I don't know what's stopping me from going forward. I mean, backwards. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. So, now another thing is, guys, with the shield module, you can um, overcharge the shield. I would only recommend doing this if your base is under attack and you're going to quickly repair your, your buildings. So let me quickly switch to an engineer. So let's go ahead. Oh, nope. One second. So it's going to be hard to see in the daytime, but go ahead and overcharge your shields. Okay, hold on. Let me like look at it again. Hmm, that's weird. It's acting like it's not doing anything. Hmm, okay, let's go to the other shield module. So, what that does is it provides... So, the only things that have shields is your gates, your bunkers, your garage, your infantry tower, and your pillbox. It makes them invulnerable for, I think, like 30 seconds. Uh, let's do it... Oh, I'm looking at 7. Where's the 7? Perfect timing. Okay, see how everything's like highlighting? Okay, now you can see the color. So if you're gonna do that, quickly try to get your buildings repaired. And you and you have to be in the middle of the gate, but try not to be on this side, only be on the inside. And that's how you repair your gate. But you can see, it's better at nighttime because you can actually see the whole thing. But, okay, I'm just looking at the time. But it makes everything invulnerable. Well, not everything, but, oh, and also your blast walls. You can see how they're highlighted blue. Okay, so that, so I was correct, 30 seconds, because we started at the 7 o'clock, I mean the 7 minute mark. Your garage has a paint spire plus 4 modules, right? Yes. So I call this garage the main core setup. Uh, k bot knows what I'm, gonna what I'm talking about. So I used to, the old strategy was I put the paint spire right with the